Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Surprise. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of stuff so I'm kind of upping my hauls. Um, though we'll probably go back to, ooh, back to once a week once all the good stuff is passed. But for now, let's keep going. Um, I've got a mixed bag of seasons and household stuff in this haul. And believe it or not, I've got another haul getting ready to come out. I know, right? All right, first things first, I grabbed these ornaments. These are the pink and gold. I really want them for the little pink, but I may use the gold. I've decided, crazy, I know, I'm going to do my little tiny bathroom in pink and teal. I have little stuff I'm going to make but I thought it would be super fun just in the little bath, the little half bath. So I grabbed those ornaments because I wanted the pink ones. And then these, I grabbed this package of the little ornaments. I have a um, centerpiece coming up that I'm making and I have the big red ornaments, but I'm thinking I want the little ones as well. So I just grabbed them. I mean, they're a dollar. Honestly, if I don't use them in that project, I can fill a vase with them and be perfectly happy. All right, I grabbed three of this. I have been desperate to find this sign. Just says pick your potion. And now I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, I guess I could try to do it this year. But Halloween is like a week away. So um, I wanted to make a DIY with the potion bottles. I did see Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheap make a... Um, garland but mine was going to be a little different not a garland I wasn't making but probably what I will do is save these for next year and do the DIY then because it's just a little late right now but I literally found these yesterday I know my store is so bizarre all of them they're still putting out Stuff I've never seen for Halloween, stuff I've never seen for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I just feel like we're, it, I've never seen it like this. But you gotta buy it because like a lot of the stuff they put out yesterday is already gone. I know because I ran back to a store to grab something for a project I'm working on and it was already gone. Um, I found these little shadow boxes. I'm. It's what it is. It's a wooden holder they're calling it. I would, I'm looking at this like a shadow box and I grabbed four because I really think, and if I don't get to it for Christmas time, I really think for springtime, I could do a fun like DIY shadow box wall hanging type thing with the four of these gluing them together. So, and it can even sit like on a shelf. Oops. I don't know that I would trust it on a wall, but it would definitely sit like be a nice shelf sitter. I gotta stop fidgeting here, but here we go. So I was thinking it could be four long or a square. And their shelf, the it's a good inch deep. So these could hold some super cute things. So I'm thinking this is gonna go as a spring or winter, but probably like a spring. I just feel like a spring with some bunnies in there and some grass. I just think it'll be super cute. But you always grab things when you see it. Um, I grabbed some gingerbread. These are the foam gingerbread people. So then I also decided that I have in my kitchen. I don't decorate my kitchen a lot. I usually put some cute stuff over on my coffee bar and then I have three shelves on the wall and I do decorate those three shelves. And I'm thinking this year of doing gingerbread men. I found the wooden gingerbread man, but he's upstairs, but you've all seen it. So I'm going to do a DIY with those wooden gingerbread men. Two of them. One, I'm going to make a lady and a man, and it's going to be really different than what I've seen. So that's what I try to do is come up with different. So anyway, I thought I could use these in my kitchen somehow. I don't really have any plans for those. As well as I did grab another package of the little wooden gingerbread men because I think these might make a sweet garland on one of the shelves because it is kind of dainty and the shelves are small. So I'm just kind of at this juncture grabbing a few things that I think I could do some DIYs with and it probably won't all be Dollar Tree. 
I grabbed two of these. They're out at my, like all of my stores seem to have had these out. Now, I'm probably gonna use them when I have my holiday party. We're gonna do a coffee and hot cocoa bar, but if you take these and glue it onto a candlestick and paint it black and put a candle in here, you now have like a lantern or a street light. That's the first time I saw these on Pinterest. Somebody had made a really neat street light for their village. Like it's pretty decent size. But they're also, I mean, it's plastic, but they, there's a million things you can do to personalize them. But honestly, for me, I needed them for a coffee bar. If you're doing a hot cocoa bar. Now I will say they're not airtight. So I'm not gonna put anything like, well, my coffee bar too is only gonna be set up and broken right down. But if you have a like a whole thing set up for the holiday season or all the winter, I wouldn't put your marshmallows in here, but maybe sugar or tea bags or something. I don't know, it's fun and it's reasonably priced. Although I, I'm still obsessed with all the glass jars that I did run through the dishwasher and now they're not gross anymore, right? Um, this might go in my next DIY too. I have an idea for this, but I'll have to come back to you on it. Just one of these little crates but a lot of folks are doing them upside down and like stacked books kind of thing. And so for the kitchen, that might, you know, be a good, a good idea for something like that. Don't worry, I got this, the price tag off. And then I, a few places I have this, but I grabbed two of these peanut butter dog bones for the big dogs in my life. I'm putting together little stockings um, with treats for the larger dogs. Luna doesn't like, first of all, she doesn't like hard biscuits. And second of all, this is way too big for her. I get her different stuff, but for my brother's dog, Jody and Sarah's brother's dog, Storm, they're both larger dogs. And I think we'll enjoy the larger dog treat. Um, I did pick up some of this decorative shred in the red. It's great for gift wrapping, but I actually have a project so many projects up here guys that I want to do with different ornaments and this is part of that and this is part of that so I grabbed I found one more box of these so now I have two gold a black and a silver and I'm telling you these are bigger than you think I mean they are probably two I would say four inch square if I had to guess it doesn't, I'm looking to see if it says, oh wait, three, oh wow, good guesser. They are 3.75 inches by two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So yeah, they're about four inches, but they they fit this one thing I'm doing perfectly. Also great for candy, also great for party favor, also great for gift wrapping, and they're a buck. Don't sleep on it, you get four of them. Don't sleep on it, I'm telling you. Um... I found some Sonic Cherry Limeade. I liked the ocean water, but I love Cherry Limeade. So I grabbed a pack of that. Um, you get six sticks, but they're not, I mean, I drink this stuff all the time. That's how I get my not coffee in. That's how I refer to water, am I right? Oh, I did pick up, and I think this might be a quick haul. Well, I picked up this bag. One, it's adorable. The buffalo check. Although I have to tell you, I see this buffalo check so much now that I'm pretty immune to it anymore. And I didn't even realize until I'm looking at it in the viewfinder that it had the buffalo check. I mean, I knew I liked it, but I didn't get it for this. I got it because it's an extra wide bag. So the bottom is very big. Like that's how wide it is. That's a big bag. I have a specific gift in my, hi Alex, can I help you? I have a specific gift in mind for this um, or that I purchased for uh, somebody and I needed a larger bag and this is gonna work perfect for it. And like I said, it's it's got a wide bottom so it will hit a, hold a substantial gift. And what I tend to do on these is I'm going to hot glue these down. 
like I'll put it in place in here so it doesn't pop out when I'm carrying it. And then I like to either put a piece of tape or some glue so that doesn't move. But other than that, it is the Voila brand, seasonal. And I think these snowmen are pretty fantastic. So I did purchase the bag. Okay, other fun stuff. I got, I found this actually, and I was looking for it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for gift box or decor, but I thought it was adorable. And it just says North Pole Express. I tell you, if you do like a Polar Express party with your kids, you could put a bell in here for each child with some of that, or for your child, watch the movie and then give them the bell. That would be super cute. And I guess it's not Polar Express, but it is a train and I think most, you know, kids will be able to make that jump. I remember when my cousins were little and my niece, we took them on a train ride up near Akron and it was the Polar Express train ride and we had so much fun and it, it was so magical. The night we all went, it started snowing on the way back. So it was, it was just a wonderful evening. And I had made the kids bells because I didn't know we got bell, that they got bells, but they ended up getting them. So I didn't need to give them the ones, but I just took a jingle bell and put a ribbon on it and the date. So if you do like a movie night, you could totally put a little gift in here for a keepsake. We, I, we like ornaments in my family. So we, we tend to get ornaments when we do something special and fun as a family. Um, I am planning again this year to come up with a different advent calendar that you can make for children and adults. And one of the best products I have found are these little condiment cups and you get 12 in a package. So two of these will get you to Christmas Eve. Um, so if you want to come along with me when I make my advent calendar, one of them is going to be using these cups. The other advent calendar is using the big plastic candy bowls that I found, but you could totally use one of the little jars just depending on what you're putting in the vessel or any vessel really. I just happen to have found those at the Dollar Tree, the big, you know, the big plastic ones with the lid in the party section. But anyway, these are fantastic for um, advent calendars. DIY, super easy for the little ones, especially. Um, if you do candy or anything tiny or little notes, but we'll go over all that when I put that together. I just want to solidify how I want the back to look. Um, I did show you this, but I grabbed another one for stocking stuffer. I don't even care that it's Dollar Tree. It is like the perfect little to-go razor. And even if it just lasts for the trip we're on or whatever, it's a perfect little, little gift and a perfect stocking stuffer. So I grabbed that for a stocking. I already showed you what they look like inside, as well as I grabbed two more of these, um, just for gift giving, because I realized I had two, but I really wanted four. So I grabbed two more, and I like that it's a name brand, and I like that it is um, it's a detoxifying, moisturizing mask, so it shouldn't really hurt anybody. So I grabbed two more. So now I have all that done. Um, I'm a little shook right now, guys. Like, what? We're so opening this up. I already showed it to Sarah because I think technically, ooh, I think technically it's for dogs, but come on, let me get this open. Eh, eh. I need something to open it because my nail will break if I try. Oh, here, I found a hole. Never mind. It's another one of these dog to pet toys, they're calling it. I don't think this one is specifically for dogs. I'm going to try to have the cat do it and see if he can. Oops, hold on, I lost a... I lost one of its little foots. His little feet. Okay. So these... Oh yeah, they slide super easy and this just slides around. So you put the treats, you can put treats in these and the pet has to find them. And it's a great enrichment toy. And this one up here, you have two slots. So you could put one in there or one in here, you know, move them around and the dog. And it's super easy. Definitely a cat can do that. 
if your cat is is treat <laughs> is treat focused as mine is so i will do this if i can get uh wellington on video it'll be at the end playing with this i don't know if he'll do it but i'm gonna try and then i told sarah i could send it over for luna or i'll send her the other one uh, i think i talked about these and i decided i needed them the these are just nail wraps, but I liked these for summertime. I liked that green. I don't know why I didn't get them the first time, but yeah, I thought they were fun. These are just going my, I have a nail. It's an old toolbox, a, a white clear one I got at Walmart a hundred years ago. And I just keep all my nail stuff in there. And then when I need it, it's there. And I just throw all these in there. And then the day comes when I want to do a manicure or something. I open it up. I'm like, oh, I have those. This is fun. Um, oh, for the, also for the pets, I did grab two more of these food bowls. I love these guys. They have a rubber bottom. So when the cat's eating, they don't slide across the floor or your little pet, any little pet really. Um, they're low profile, so they don't get that whisker, the tired whisker that they can get or strain on their whiskers. And it's high enough though that the food doesn't fit, fall. I give them their wet food in this and they go in the dishwasher up beautifully. Every day we do four bowls. They get two in the morning and two at night and they go right in the dishwasher. And so I always like to have a stack. So I have a bunch of these, but they work out perfect for me. And I can, I know I have to run the dishwasher when I've used all the cat bowls. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Everything has a story. We know that, right? Um, I just grabbed this little blank, blank sign for something. I, I don't know, something. It'll get something. Something will something will happen. I mean, it's just a blank little oval sign. It's, it's got to have something. No, no stories there. Oh, I got one more treat for the dogs. And this is 100% made in the U.S. And it is the Oral Bone. It's a dental chew bone. And it's a pretty decent sized one. So I grabbed one for each of the large dogs just to put in their stocking. Because again... We gift our pets. My boys, last Christmas, I think got six pounds of their cat treats. So six tubs of their cat treats. And that lasted me several, several months. And it was great. And they were very happy. <laughs> like I buy them, my niece gets them for them, my brother gets them for them. They, and you know, my other brother gets some gift cards. So it's fun. Um, I grabbed some of this super fine glitter to do a DIY for my bathroom. And I did get two because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. It's definitely not a full container. And, you know, it is great, though, to do this project. So I grabbed two of the super fine. And to go with it, I grabbed, I have one here already. So I grabbed two more of these, of the bigger bulbs. So we're gonna do some glitter ornaments. And I also picked up two of these gingerbread ornaments for my kitchen. So I'm gonna do something with them. I had one idea to fill them with these beads, but I think I have copper glitter that'll look better. So we'll see, we're gonna, I'll do a video, please don't worry. I have a video coming up on doing some different ornament techniques. So that is for sure. And then to go along with that project, I got this. It is fabric paint, but I really wanted it because of the tip. So when I'm doing the gingerbread things, I can squeeze it. And then when I run out of this paint, I can just put white acrylic paint in this little bottle and do the same thing. So, not a piece of fluff. I grabbed this to decorate with the gingerbread peoples. And I showed you this. This is just, it's vase filler, but we're going to use it for other things. But let me tell you, this is a glitter bomb. I think I had some uh, another package that I showed you. But please look at that gold glitter in the front of that bag. Yeah, I would not open this up. I need to get a pan or something upstairs to do my glitter stuff in. I'm leaving it in this box because I don't want it all over my house. All right, just a couple things. Um, these are definitely gonna be out in this for, for me for springtime, but they are tassel plaques. I love this yellow and the thing just says, 
uh, dream big little one. So it's for a baby's room. So I will just sand that off and put my own spin on these because I think they were, and I really thought like mobile. And this one says, be your own kind of beautiful. Like, I don't think I need to do anything with that. And the little tassel at the end and the beads. Oh, I love these. And then this one says, hello world. And again, I love it just how it is. But if I want to do something like a set of something, because they all are clouds, they just are different color. I can definitely sand this, paint it and put some Cricut on here or something to make oh, a baby's mobile. Like wouldn't, ooh, wouldn't that be a lovely addition to a mobile for a baby or in a baby's room? And I'm sure that's what they're for but we're gonna not put them in a baby's room because I don't have one of those, but I do have three of these and I think they're pretty cool, right? Right. Now, the last thing I picked up are three of these wooden hearts, the thick ones. I mean, these are pretty chunky. I saw somebody, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, can't remember. They turned them upside down and made gnomes and they can be shelf sitting gnomes. And so this becomes the hat and this is where you'd put the fur and the nose in the middle. So obviously right now they are, they're just wooden hearts. But I also thought you'd have to buy a lot, but for Valentine's day, you can make a wreath or some type of a, you know, put the hearts in a circle. I mean, I would say you would need about eight of them, glue them together and then that would be fun. Or they could be like a carrot for Easter. You could paint them orange and put some green up here. There's a lot of things you can do with wood cutouts, is I guess my point. But I wanna do the, I, I may do the gnome. I'm not gonna, I am not gonna commit to a DIY for the gnome yet because I have so many so many, so many things in my brain. But guys, we have, you know, we have some time. It's coming up on November. So we have some time. I don't, I won't decorate my house for sure until um, Thanksgiving this year. I'm thinking, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty much sure that it's gonna be Thanksgiving this year that I will paint my house, or not paint my house, I'm not painting my house, that I will decorate my house. I usually do it over Thanksgiving and happen to have off this year, the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and then the day after Thanksgiving. So I will have plenty of opportunity to decorate my house. All right, stick around if there's a video at the end, if I can catch Wellington trying to play with his new toy. But if not, I will get it on my vlog on Monday. But I will talk with you later.